Good morning and welcome to Safa. We are currently down in the Lao Cai train station. We took the overnight train from Hanoi last night, which you can see in this video here. And we put our motorbikes on the train, which of course was a saga, and uh, have now arrived at the train station where we will motorbike up to our hotel in Sapa. If you're coming to this area without a motorbike, there's lots of ways to get from the Lao Cai area up to Sapa. You can take a bus, the tr overnight train is probably the most popular, and if you book with a private car, a lot of them include transportation the I don't know maybe like two hours or something up to the Sapa area because it's pretty remote so uh, let's head up there and start the day But all we've been doing since we left Lavkai is climbing, hill climbing, fire time. I don't know how much pretty stuff there is going to be to show. We're just in a cloud right now. you just like ride motorcycles like catch catch me up on the story here so <sighs> in 2015 we rode from Saigon to Hanoi with the intention of the two of us being on one bike because Tim is a motorcycle rider back in the States it's no big deal for him days into the trip we realized we're way too heavy for these little bikes and we're <laughs> bottoming out of every moment and Tim's thinking, uh, Finn, you need to learn how to ride a motorbike. So my motorbike riding experience is two months in Vietnam, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago. The first two hours are going better than the first two hours of the first trip where the oil plug was out of the bike. And luckily, because we're getting such high elevation, it's getting chilly. So I'm chilly in Vietnam. You have goosebumps! Yeah, so I'm gonna put a jacket on. picturing like a little farm town thing and not this. One of the only problems with taking the overnight train is we get into Sapa so early that we can't check into the hotel yet. Of course, Allison has the best idea what to do is with our time. Is it a problem or is it a... Uh, <laughs> something good. <laughs> I can't think. I feel like today is still yesterday. Yeah, so, uh, so we're getting a massage. 
again. And when you get a massage, it's always a toss up if it's gonna be like a nice one or really weird. I'm gonna go with really weird. Yeah, we haven't been filming them. Our last massage was just a couple days ago after the cave tour and we were like led through the jungle back into this weird hut where some guy was doing construction <laughs> and somebody else was already in there. Doug was in there getting a massage and they were like, okay, take off clothes. And like, everyone's just like right there in this little room and you're just like, great. And you listen to the guy sawing outside the door, sawing through it. And, and it was 120 degrees and we were outside and there was listen, no air. We're complaining about getting massage. I know, I know. It was just like, you just don't know what to expect, but you know, it's also 10 US dollars, so. Okay. about these whale sharks it's a huge bummer every time we told you the running joke about saying whale shark whenever anybody's trying to sell you anything no matter what country you're in but like every time we stopped here somebody's run over and try to sell something um, the we first couple times <laughs> yeah the first couple times they were really persistent nobody was like pushy mean but like when you say no you're played you're played and they're pushing and I get it dude people got people to feed right but Still a bummer. I haven't really seen this anywhere in Vietnam. No one's ever trying to sell you stuff. But here, everyone's trying to sell you trekking. They don't know I just came out of four days of the jungle. The last thing I'm gonna do is trek. <laughs> you have to I probably pay you. Absolutely <laughs> not trekking. If someone came over here with a million dong, I would refuse it to go trekking. <laughs> What is your, I bet you wouldn't go out for four million dollars. I wouldn't track for four million dollars.
I, I can't even see it. It's too vast. You just keep looking around and it's, you know, the mountains are far away and it just, it looks fake. I can't, I can't even look at it. 